Many of you have probably seen redstone and wondered, what is that? How does it work? And why is it red? Today, I'm hoping to answer the first two of those questions. The third one, I guess we'll never know the answer to. One common way to think about it is that redstone is like electricity. One of the very common contraptions that a lot of people make when they're first starting out with redstone, we have a lever that turns on a light. Now, what does this remind you of? Likely, one of the things you're thinking of is a light bulb. We've got the light switch, and we flick it on, and it turns on the light. You may also remember that light bulbs aren't the only thing that electricity is used for. Now, electricity is used all over the world in many different things. Cars, the phone, TV, or computer that you're watching this very video on. It's used in fancy doors and even some really cool looking cellos. The fun thing with redstone is we can do a lot of the things we can do with normal electricity. Giant farms that harvest food or other resources for you. You can make really cool decoration, like this fireplace here. And one of the big, very important things that you can make with redstone, doors. This one's quite basic, but like there, there are some insane ones out there that are pretty crazy. With redstone, there are very little limitations. One of the classic limitations is your imagination, but another big limitation is your actual knowledge about it. It's hard to make something really cool when you have no idea what you're making it with and how that works. Which is why I've started this very YouTube series. The playlist with this series can be found right up here in the corner. There I'm going to show you all of the redstone components, how they work, what they do, and some of the really cool things you can do with them. So what are you waiting for? Check out the playlist, hit that subscribe button, and cease to be confused about redstone.